Hi! Today I want to show you Look Inside Space. This is one of my favorite, favorite Osborne books. I was a bit of a space nerd growing up. This is incredible. Um, it is a nonfiction book geared for younger readers. And what is so cool about it is it talks about space and everything that goes on there in an easy, simple way. From space, Earth looks like a round ball. The blue bits are the sea. The green bits are land. Then you lift the flap. There are lots of other planets in space. They look different from Earth. This planet is much bigger than Earth. It's made of hot, swirling ga gas. This planet is smaller than Earth. It's made of rock. People who go into space are called astronauts or cosmonauts. People who study it are called astronomers. Now, this, I think, is one of the coolest spreads. I love, this is um, another great feature about Usborne Books is the double page spread. It's very engaging um, for anyone. I mean, it's engaging for kids. I love this. Look at how cool. This is where the flaps within flaps really start. Why does the moon change shape? You lift the flap. It's a different phase of the moon. The moon is always round. It just looks as if it changes shapes after as different parts are lit by the sun. The different shapes have names. This is a half moon. You lift another flap. Ah! This, is, this shape is called a crescent. So I love how creative is that to show the phases of the moon with flaps within flaps. Then it talks about um, how the surface of the moon is covered with craters and they got there by um, asteroids. Um, crashing into the moon. Why does the moon go around Earth? The moon is held in a circle or an orbit around Earth by gr Earth's gravity. Gravity pulled small objects to big ones. I love that it explains kind of a complex term in very easy to follow language. It talks about going to the moon and the lunar module. What happened? How did they get there? It shows the rocket going off and whooshed into space. Parts of it fell away, and this part went to the moon. It's showing the lunar module up there. So I love this. Talks about the space buggy and how they could drive around um, and everything they saw. It talks about how there's less gravity, so when they jump, they can jump higher, and because there's no wind on Earth, the astronauts' footprints are going to be on the moon. Or no gravity on the moon. Uh, no wind on the moon, there's, um, the astronaut's footprints are going to be there for millions of years. Just love, love these flaps within flaps. It talks about the space station, um, shows everything inside it from the exercise equipment to a spacewalk, what is going on inside of the um, astronaut's suit. Here it shows the window, you know, um, talks about uh, how the space station gets its energy from the sun. And then this one is really cool. How did the space station get there? And you lift up the flap and it shows how the space shuttle delivered the pieces of the space station. So great. Um, we were looking at this book and also the shine a light on the space station the other day and we pulled up videos on YouTube of actual NASA videos of them going to the space station and it was just a great way to kind of combine all the information that she's seeing in the books and show her that it's real. This is real. You know, it's not just something you see in a book. It's not, it's not made up. It's real and we can really see it. There are really people going to do it. This one's super cool. talks about um, the sun, properties of the sun, how stars are made. And again, in very simple language, how are stars made? Stars begin of clouds, as clouds of gas and dust swirling through space. As the cloud gets thicker, the gases get hotter. Part of the cloud becomes a ball of glowing, glowing, glowing gas, and a star is born. I love that it's simple to understand text. And then you open it up and you see our solar system. And there are still a ton of flaps in here to talk about the various planets, how Jupiter's red spot is really a storm that's been happening for hundreds of years, talks about comets, talks about uh, the rings, what the rings of Saturn are made up of. 
so fun. It talks about galaxies. How many galaxies are there in the universe? Too many to count. Um, just incredible how we can see space. Um, so this is a great, great first book about space. It's $14.99 and I would recommend this for probably our young readers, maybe preschool to maybe second grade. Look inside space.